Okay, so we're playing a 20 minute game. Sticking with the usual practice, nice and steady. So supporting the pawn here because if the bishop takes, then obviously this knight will be able to take. So they're uh, an aggressive player. So we're gonna we're gonna play kindly and just um, reciprocate. But nice and steady defense. All this is pretty straightforward at the moment. I'm gonna take with the pawn so the bishop goes. Oh, I didn't expect that. I wanted to exchange the bishop off. So now they're really in a position that they didn't really expect to be in because they expected really to take the bishop off the board. So the psychology goes that we can just continue with our movement now because their rhythm has been slightly upset. So just going to come here, they're very aggressive, they're just attacking pieces and we're just looking to improve our position on the board. So hopefully in reality we are like a half a beat ahead because of this bishop move that they've had to do. So I'm just going to touch onto the bishop, nothing great, nothing big, nothing out there. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece usually can't be wrong. Again, smaller piece attacking the higher piece and he's looking for space for his queen to sort of squeeze in here or her space. So they probably didn't really need to take the pawn, but again, they're very aggressive. So we just have to be mindful they may be making some holes that we don't know about. So I'm going to capture the pawn. Our king isn't home alone, really, but he probably just wants to get rid of this knight somehow. Maybe exchanging it off so his queen can squeeze down the side here to cause a bit of trouble. So if we can get more pieces into the game, we could go and attack their bishop, but we're then releasing this pawn, but the queen is protecting the rook, so we could attack. I'm going to attack the bishop. I don't, I'll just say, I don't think they're going to exchange because they're wanting to get this position. Our bishop, uh, queen is controlling this, sorry, bishop is controlling this square at the minute. I'm moving my mouth faster than my brain, so <laughs> I usually call things like knights, pawns and bishops, pawns and all sorts because my brain's just going all over the place. So yeah, they're looking to put some pressure towards our king area. I mean, this square is quite crucial in a sense because the bishop could come here and attack our bishop and then his queen is making his way in, attacking this pawn which doesn't have any protection. So what do we want to do about this? Could we move the queen up? to look to get across here or are we going to be too late to the party we move up bishop comes and attacks the bishop we could still move across and attack the queen because this pawn is protecting here i think i'm going to do that i'm trying to get pieces towards my king area so my king doesn't feel home alone i just hope i'm not too late to the party So it's looking for a discovered check on our queen. So in essence, we could just basically just move across. And he's still going to get the pawn though, isn't he? He's still getting the pawn with the queen here. I'm kind of resigning myself to this pawn actually disappearing. I mean, I could push the pawn here, but then he does have this check. So we don't want to fall foul of that. Anything else? I think I'm just going to go and attack the queen. Queen comes down, attacks the pawn. We're sort of fashioning pieces to actually come up towards his king area, attacking here and here. So that might be a little bit devastating. He does have that simple pawn push here, so it's not too devastating. Whoa, they've taken. Inside or outside. Could take just to marry up the pawns in front. If we took the other way. then this pawn has not got any protection behind it and the rook is going to challenge it. Still doesn't feel too stable, but we'll take this way so that this um, pawn isn't challenged. So we're getting pieces towards their king area. So yeah, he's looking to own the file, which makes sense. Uh, 
we could x-ray through with our bishop just to be a bit of a nuisance let's just do that probably get double pawns I mean we've got double pawns here so looking to own the file on this side so he does actually want to double the pawns okay don't need to rush it let's see if there's anything different I think we're just going to simply double the pawns and um, his bishop's looking for trouble but I think I'm going to just go here see if we can own this file and then maybe face this rook off could move the knight to attack the pawn, pawn drops down, knight jumps up I think we'll do that first, get active with the knight pawn drops down, knight jumps into this space maybe, I'm not too sure yet uh, maybe this one this one, nothing can trouble it here anyway it's just that uh, yeah, it's got a safe space to jump to here uh, if I go that way excuse me if I go this way I need to sort my arrows out if I go this way then I've got a 2 on 1 with the bishop and the um, knight on the pawn he might do some sort of fancy sacrifice let's go with that looks feasible obviously we're wanting to get this rook to here or to here so it's not going for any of that so do we go with the bishop I think going with the bishop does the bishop escape somewhere it's going to come down and attack the pawn isn't it let's just be mindful so if we go and take the pawn here I think he's just going to drop here because then it's attacking this pawn but we can come back with our bishop and attack it okay so let's attack with the bishop have a replication pawn if he does take here he does take that so he's opening up space in front of his king he's trying to get my knight so he does take and um, we're just going to grab hmm it's a horse of a different colour isn't it could go up to attack this pawn could make space with the king but then his rook's just going to make his way across just in times I think if we make space here rook up attacking the pawn Now it comes up attacking their pawn, he takes our pawn, we take his attacking his rook, but then his rook will be on our pawns here. Hmm. <laughs> Attack his rook, his rook takes the pawn, rook comes up attacking the pawn. Puts a check on the king, king moves to the side. Which one's best? I think. Ooh, knight's under attack, don't forget, dude. Whoa, 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 doing all that calculation. Oh, <laughs> doing all that calculation. Got to move the knight. So I don't really want to do this because then when we take here, his rook's just going to come here. But I suppose then our rook can come here defending. No, that's not good though, is it? Then he comes down and attacks the pawn here. Oh, I need to reshape this now. Right here, he takes anyway. Knight takes. Rook comes across. Take. Rook goes down and takes. He's got his rook there. Oh, I think we're finished then, aren't we? Oh no, his rook can't come across there, but his rook puts a check on. We go up, so it's up a bit there. You know, you get like a repetition of some sort, won't you? We don't really want to give them that. 
with a piece up looks like we're going to have to swing the night back down and live with the fact do 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 right up it takes anyway night takes rook attacks rook defends rook books a check on yeah plus another check on the king moves up yeah so that would be a new return to check type thing okay let's go with that I'm surprised they've not logged off <laughs> picture might look different when they've done that capture, so if they capture maybe there's something else don't think there is it's a little bit scrappy ok let's just take does it, does it look any different, rook comes there as we said can we just move, nope because his rook will take, so I think we'll just go and do that like we said no checks on his king at the moment Maybe try. yeah it's going for the check so might as well just move the king like we said and just move it up king's moving out of the way to make space for his rook to put another check on our king So that's different now. So can we do anything different at all? It's looking to try and get the rook here to go there, but it's not we haven't got enough time. So if I move across I'll have a move here. Okay, let's move there. Still put a check here I suppose. getting my king squished I can always try and float it all the way back down again up you know, to here or somewhere ok so he's not done that but he can't come here with his rook so if we just swing here looking to get the rook off the board am I missing something? If we go there, then he's probably looking to put the check on. Do I do? Do I go there now? Because I'm not going to get down, down, down because he's blocked me off. So I would probably go up then. If he goes up again, then we're taking the pawn. And there's he squishing me. Rook there, locking me in. Ooh, sketchy times. Sketchy times, but it's not going there, so I think he's going to put a check on here. So, what we'll do is bring. Unless, of course, it's coming from down for this pole. Anyway, we'll go here. Oh, no, I don't think that's clever. We put a check on his king, his king moves off the line. Then the knight comes here with a check on his king and we win the rook, don't we? Does that work? We've got the check. King moves. Oh no, we don't get the rook because our rook's not in his line. <laughs> he's, not, he's, he's not in his line. Oh dear, we could just take the pawn. Um, anything else? We do have our own rook here put a check on again, hides in the corner hides in the corner, if we bring the knight down doo -doo 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 -doo. nothing major really, even if I get my rook here I can't get like a checkmate type thing take the pawn so it's less one, less piece to worry about. He starts putting checks on us. 
Or do we come here? I think I'm just going to take the pawn. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold your horses. I take the pawn. His rook comes flying here. He's pinning my rook. That wouldn't look too good, would it? That wouldn't feel too good. Ooh, nasty pin. I'm going to bring the knight across here then. Does have sides so Whoa, steady on. Meant to do arrows. I don't like it. King's right in the middle of the board. Anything can happen. Lucky we've got a pawn here, but he's got this one check that's going to be. Yeah, this one check. Now, do we do it right? Because we can come back here. Condense him in a bit. I don't think we fly here. Maybe we do fly there. Because then this is giving out. If we go there with the king, we're blocking our rook. It's access to blocking off their king. But we are actually attacking their rook. So maybe he flies across here to attack this pawn, but then his king is going to be a bit airy, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's this moving here. Don't want to block our rook. And plus, it gives space for the knight to jump here and block if need be. So I think I'm doing this. Although he may come here now with an X-ray through onto my damn knight. <laughs> oh, I suppose I can take this pawn here though and support the knight. For a brief moment. So that looks like I'm going to have to move my king. <laughs> I didn't want to go this side though, but it's like I'm going to have to move it that side. Oh, am I making my way to that safe zone like we said? Looks like I am, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Let's go to the... Is it, is it safe? Let's have a look. Is it safe? We go here. He comes across with a check. And we come down here. And it's not really troubling us then, is it really? Yeah, it is the safe zone. Let's move this out of the way. It's going to double up on the, my knight. God, I'm seeing it all afterwards. It's gonna double up on the knight, so maybe the king should have just gone. Yeah, I should have just gone here. Mind you, he still would have been able to do it because he's got the support of this pole. So we can still move the knight. Bit of a fork around it on the rook, but then the rook is coming down here with a check on the king. But the safe zone is this square, isn't it? Because it's not gonna come down here. Any checks on his king? Yes. Our rook has a check on his king, but then we're bringing him into the party, aren't we? He's wanting to come this way, so that he's putting more pressure onto our knight. But his issue is this. If you have a look at the tail of the tape, this rook has got an x-ray through to the king, so I'm actually winning his, his uh, rook. So if I come here, it's a check on his king, so I actually win the rook. Any more devastation? No, I think that should do it. It's good to talk it through, eventually see the gold. Sha, nice game.